I'm Pierce Meyer. I'm the chef and owner of the Potbelly Cafe in Wexford. Good afternoon, Piers. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Can you tell us something first about yourself and if you can describe yourself as a person and as a chef and a business owner? My name is Piers Marr. I'm from Wexford originally. I grew up in Wexford Town. In my early 20s, I went off backpacking and ended up spending 11 years in South Africa where I met, met my wife. Yeah. My, our son was born a few years later and yeah. 10 years ago we moved back to Wexford. So when you came back here, that was in what year again? In 2011. In 11, yeah. So did you go straight to the food industry again? Or? Well actually in 2011 yeah. I entered the first season of MasterChef Ireland. All right. And um, so I was a contestant on that. Lovely, uh, yeah. I didn't win it, but I did okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then after that, after that was finished, I decided to carve out a career in the food industry. Mm -hmm. So, Piers, what can you say that the Potbelly Cafe can offer to your customer like? Um, well, we do mainly lunch and breakfast service. We open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. six days a week from Tuesday to Sunday. And mainly what we offer is baps. Um, our food is mostly served on Walsh's Bakery Blaz. And we do breakfast baps, um, crispy chicken, burgers. But what, probably what we're most famous for is our slow cooked belly of pork, mm -hmm. um, which we, is similar to pulled pork, but rather than using the shoulder, we use the belly of pork, which we much prefer. Mm -hmm. And we have our own method of cooking it we sear it off on the grill and then slow cook it for about four hours Lovely. and then finish it again on the grill after Lovely, so. yeah so Piers can you tell me whose idea is the pot belly cafe myself and my wife Marilee came up with the concept together ourselves yeah. and we had always wanted to have a food truck and actually in <laughs> South Africa before we moved back to Ireland we had bought ourselves a much smaller little food truck okay, uh, which yeah. we had only just started to operate with and then um, sold it before we moved back. So when we came back here, we looked for a, a food truck and bought the pot belly and converted it into what it is today. Okay. Marily, it's lovely meeting you. I believe you're from South Africa originally. That's correct. And yes. your accent is lovely. Thank you. So you're, you're very much uh, settled into Ireland already. Yes, I've yeah. been here about 10 years now. Is that right? So, yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you think of the weather? I don't think I'll ever get used to it, <laughs> but we have to just make it work. It's getting better, so I just want to ask you a few things about Pierce. Yes, of course. How is he as a husband first? <laughs> Ooh, I better be careful our answer better this. not listen here, Pierce. No, he's a great husband. I'm sure. Yeah. And uh, we, yeah, we love working together. Yeah, can I can be see challenging that. at times. Yeah. But, yeah. It is the most challenging is working, living together and working together, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's finding yeah. that fine balance. Yeah. And would you be able to describe Piers as a chef? He's very passionate, isn't he? Always had a passion. Yeah. I met him in South Africa. Yeah. He was actually, believe it or not, very fussy eater in South really? Africa. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then he just, he really fell in love with and yeah. he loves going to lovely restaurants yeah. and now he eats everything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so do you think uh, he has been influenced by South African cooking when you moved back here? I think it definitely built on his passion for food. Yeah. Because um, we quite a, in South Africa, yeah. the food culture is big. Yeah. And obviously the wine culture <laughs> and the two go side yeah. by side. Yeah. So yeah. I think it definitely helped. And, yeah. Um, realize what he wants yeah do. and have you input on what what kind of uh, cuisine you're going to serve here like um, yes we sort of we, we uh, bounce ideas off each other yeah yeah and um you know he does all he, the man food yeah and then i try and bring something in that the ladies will like as well right yeah yeah, yeah. it balances everything exactly. yeah 
Yeah. And how, how do you find peers as a businessman, as a business partner? <laughs> um, that's all good, all good. Like, as always, as again, when yeah. you're married to somebody and yeah. you work together, you face yeah. challenges. But yeah. um, he's very dedicated and he's yeah. a business. Oh, the, the, a business like this needs a lot of time and effort, isn't it? So exactly. it definitely needs to be dedicated, you isn't it? You need to be dedicated and you need to be hands on and be yeah. very involved. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Marily. It's a lovely talking to you. You too. Thank you. Bye. What is your inspiration on the recipe, Piers? It's, it's sort of our version of uh, pulled pork. Yeah. And as is there a South rather, African influence on that? Or? Uh, not really, other than uh, the curry curry sauce, which yeah. we use, would be very popular in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, so there probably is a bit of an influence there. Right. But it's more a, a, a version of, of pulled pork. <laughs> um, but rather than using the shoulder of pork, we use the, the belly. Yeah. Which um, we sear off on the grill. And then we slow cook it for about four hours, mm -hmm. and then we uh, sear it off again just before serving. Mm -hmm. Lovely! Oh, looks delicious already. <laughs> again, we go get the sauce on the. The special sauce, secret recipe. Secret recipe sauce is obviously. Yeah. All original to the pot belly cafe. That's it. Curry, curry, a bit of barbecue there. Mm -hmm. Lettuce. And I like to keep a bit of texture in the pork as well. Yeah. Get a bit of caramelization on it yeah. where we can. <laughs> Rather than pulling it apart completely, leave a bit of texture in there. That's it, yeah. It's nice to have something to chew there as well, exactly. isn't it? One of, one of the things we're known for at the pork yeah. restaurant is the pot belly is yeah. the precise portion. Yeah. Beautiful, our, uh, beautiful. Plus signature slow cooked pork belly bags. Lovely, I'm looking forward to that now. I hope, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the bit. Well, definitely, yeah. That is loaded. 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 <laughs> oh, you won't go hungry oh, after that, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so then you put the well, chicken on the sinks with the latte will be. And we make our own page if I am. I'm sure. <laughs> Secret recipe. <laughs> The lime. The lime. To top it all, the lime. It's loaded. <laughs> Our crispy chicken tacos. Lovely, beautiful. Oh, oh. Look who I found here, Mr. George Lawler. How you doing? So, He's here at the Pots Belly Cafe and he's a regular here. Mm -hmm. So I just want to ask him why is he a regular? I love coming to the Pot Belly Cafe because the food is really, really good quality. Yeah. It's great value. <gasps> the staff are terrific, very friendly. It's open air, it's, it's nice particularly this time, but the quality of the food is excellent. And um, what did you order, I uh, Mr. Lawler? Three chicken back. Wow, yeah, but yeah. I have had the breakfast bath, which is fabulous as well, and the slow cooked uh, the pork belly is absolutely delicious. I'm sure this will be my first time, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy.